let me be clear about something. I'm not telling people to worry about whether the way they argue about a subject, the way they debate about a subject, is going to offend someone. If you're telling someone to kill themselves, if you're telling someone that you think someone else should kill them, if you're making fun of their appearance or the way they talk, you're making comments about things in a degrading fashion that have nothing to do with the discussion at hand, then you already know what you're doing. There's no need to worry about whether you might be offending someone. No, you're trying to hurt somebody. That's what I'm talking about in my last video. People need to have a thicker skin for actual debates, for actual arguments against what they're saying. People need to not take when someone has a stance against their position, people need to not take that personally. Okay, that's true. Those are the things we need to have a thicker skin in. But to tell someone they need to have a thicker skin because you're, you're telling someone to kill, you know, you're telling someone to kill themselves, telling, telling someone you're going to rape them or you're going to hunt them down, that sort of shit. You think people should have a thick skin for that? You're sick, if that's what you think. Well, it's only words. See, that's the shit I'm talking about. And do you know who are the primary people who say this? They're the atheists on YouTube. I don't like to ha consider myself part of the atheist community because I don't like those kinds of actions and they're very common on this platform, especially in comments. Some of you act like if <laughs> you, you can be as mean as you want and because you're an atheist that means that everything that comes out of your mouth is rational and logical. What a crock of shit. Those of you that are leaving these constant insults to people, okay, you will be the ones responsible for if Google clamps down on this shit. You will be the ones responsible. Just like with cigarettes, the ones who will smoke right literally in the entranceway to a building, the ones who will puff away at a cigarette while walking through a crowd. They're the ones that are eventually going to make cigarettes illegal. Be a little bit considerate. Don't sit there and try to degrade and insult people when it doesn't even have anything to do with the argument and the discussion at hand. You want to complain about my freedom of speech. Well, keep doing this stuff you're doing and then you'll actually really have something to complain about eventually. Google may not go some of the routes that I mentioned. I don't think they're going to uh, require people give their ID number. I think they'll do something much more draconian than that. That's how Google kind of operates. And a lot of places on the net, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, they're going to have more draconian methods for dealing with this shit. And then you'll really have something to complain about. And guess what? It's your own fucking fault. It's your fault. So keep being bullies, and see where it gets you in a few years. It's ridiculous to complain about your freedom of speech when all you want to do is bully people. It's fucking ridiculous. 
you might as well be some, I mean, <laughs> I can just picture on a playground at an elementary school, kids saying, you know, when, when the teachers try to stop them from bullying, they'll say, well, you're trying to, you're, you're violating my free speech. It's just as stupid. These platforms may allow us to act like children, but maybe it's time you grow up a little bit.